I don't expect a whole lot from you guys today. I only expect everything you have to give. What if you give coach 70% during practice on your sprints, and then during the game you want to give him 100%? Will that work? So in SEAL teams, we say you train how you fight. So if you slack during practice, if you slack through our trainings today, you're not going to grow. Not every team gets a chance to do this sort of thing. Why would you waste it? So attention to detail, accountability, quality, family, whatever we do, good or bad, we're going to do together, and we're going to crush it. Hoo-yah? All right, echo the command. Sound like, be like champions. All right, on your feet. On every team, there's at least one slacker. Would you guys agree with that? Yeah. And that guy thinks nobody knows. But do we know? You have to earn your right to be on this team every day, unless you want to be a mediocre team. You told me, you, want, you put your arm up, that's a contract. I want to be better, and I want a better team. Talk is cheap, show me what you got. Do ya? ya. So today was a little bit of chaos. It was attention to detail and accountability. You fall down, you get back up, you fall down and get back up. But just like this season, whatever they do, good or bad, they're gonna to do together. So we just bring them closer, make them a stronger, tighter family. Everybody ready? ready. Go! Yeah, yeah. They're gonna to have to deal with pain, misery, and suffering, all the good stuff. We teach them to embrace adversity. We sing a song, we like it, we love it, we want some more of it. So where a lesser team would cave in and quit, these guys are gonna attack, attack, and if in doubt, attack. This ain't Texas basketball, I don't know what it is. This is about to get on and it's gonna about to get real. Hoo ya? If you're selfish, you will lose. You wanna be selfless. You wanna use leadership, teamwork, tag the other side, get back, don't be last place. Look your guys in the eyes and say, we're gonna get this done. Hoo ya? All right, here we go, go! Watch the curve coming up. Bucket, curve. You guys are coming together this week, which is what Shaka Smart told me he wanted. He wanted you guys to be more connected and more mentally tough, and he wanted you guys to be comfortable being uncomfortable. All right, I got one last thing we're done. It takes one minute to do this. All right, let's finish strong, Texas. Everybody yell, ready! Ready! Go! Tomorrow is going to be attacking your fear. Some people, when they uh, race, face fear, they run, they hide, or they get small. But that won't work tomorrow. Tomorrow they're going to have to come together and attack their fear. How do you guys talk to yourselves when you see fear? I got this, I got this, or I'm going to freaking die. Which one's better? OK, what do I need to do? If you focus on what you need to do, you're more likely to get to a situation. Then if you panic and freak out, if you panic in a game because you only got five, six seconds on the clock, is that going to help you win or lose a game? Now, you need to get right with your mind if you're having trouble with this water. Who ya? Because if another man with two arms and two legs can do something, so can you. If you've ever jumped off a diving board with a life vest, raise your hand. Go! Yeah, coach! Go. Get out of the way! Every one of them went off the diving board, but a bunch of players thought they could not go off the diving board. But I'm, so I'm hoping they draw connections in their brain. If I was afraid and I could do that, maybe there's something else I'm afraid of I can do as well. This guy was like just a prisoner of his fear, and I said, I said, what if you jump, it makes your whole team better? What if coach needs you to jump to make your team better? And then he went up there and jumped, and then he jumped again for his teammate. That's selfless, that's sacrifice for a first year. Can't wait to see what you're gonna do when you're a senior, man. If you attack your fear like that, you're gonna grow up. Who ya? There's gonna be times when you struggle. There's gonna be times when you might let a little doubt creep in. You have to go back to times when he was like, all right, I thought it was hard before, and after, guess what? It wasn't that bad. On the court, when it's like, we're down three, we have to get a stop, you know, that's just do it. You gotta saddle up, it's gonna be hard. You gotta play defense, you're gonna hurt, you're gonna be tired. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be tough. 
A Navy SEAL must hold his breath for three minutes or you're not going to be a SEAL. We're going to see who can hold their breath for 30 seconds. Usually Division I teams that win championships, we get everybody through this evolution because they want to win so bad. They're like this, look. They're like, and their teams in their ear motivate them, they get it through. All right, who's going to make it? All right, look at, look at your brother and say, we got this. One, two, three. You guys did better on the first try than any team I've ever trained. However, a handful did not make it. All right, let's do it again. Hold up. Everybody, yeah. everybody like do it again. All right, listen up. What's easier, holding your breath for 30 seconds or winning that first game? Holding the breath is a whole lot easier because you know what? They're not going to give you that win. You got to take it. One, two, three. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Everybody gave their all for everybody. Expected it to be hard, challenging, bring us together, and it did all of that. It was a great week. Guys did a terrific job. Uh, it was a lot of fun just seeing them uh, get put in different situations and have to respond and have to work together, communicate. Everyone on our team, we need each other. Nobody outside of our group is going to set the course for us. It's required that we do and uh, anything that happens is our responsibility. If you believe in yourself, if you work as a team, you can move mountains. And I think one thing we did this last four days, we got this team to believe, and I can't wait for the first game.